بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد Hey brothers and sisters, this is your brother here, Abdullah Bashir. We've been getting many questions all over our social media about Tibian Center, which is a new center opened by Sheikh Abdul Nasr Farah and his students. Today I have with me here Ahmed Burhan, Qari Ahmed Burhan, who will be answering those questions and is part of the uh, Tibian Center team. Without further ado, let's begin, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, Tibian Center is a very unique name for a Quranic center. Do you mind telling me what the word Tibian means? Tibian in the Arabic language, Lughatan, is al izhar wa tawdih, which basically means to make something clear or apparent. It comes from the root word bana or bayana. So, that pretty much explains what uh, Tibian means. Jazakallah khayna for explaining that. So now um, my second question is, why was the name Tibian chosen? We chose Markaz Tibian because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself uses the word Tibian to describe the Qur'an. In Surah An-Nahl, Ayah 89, Allah says, وَنَزَّلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ تِبِيَانَ لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ And we have sent down the kitab as a clarification for all things. The Prophet Ali salatu companion Ibn Mas'ud, as mentioned by Hafiz Ibn Kathir, explains this ayah by saying, The Qur'an contains all knowledge from the past, present, and future, the halal and the haram, all rulings, and etc. And Imam Awza'i, he says, you know, the kitab here means the Qur'an and the sunnah, because the sunnah explains the Qur'an with more details and more rulings and all those things. And also we chose the name Tibyan because Imam al nawi has a famous kitab called at tibyan Fi Adabi Hamlet Al-Qur'an which goes over the etiquettes and character of the person who carries the Qur'an. MashaAllah, that was a lot of beneficial information. So now my next question is, what is the significance of Tibyan? As for its significance, the concept of Tibyan has a major role and connection with the environment we live in today. We're in a society where doubt and confusion has increased and as Muslims, we must keep and be proud of our identity by holding on to the Qur'an and Sunnah to safeguard not only ourselves, but our families and community members. <laughs> Alright, Barakallahu Feek Ahmed. And now for my last and most important question, what is the vision and hope for Tibian? We envision Marcus Tibian in becoming one of the best and most beneficial centers in all of America. Marcus Tibian will be run by Sheikh Abdi Nasr and his students not only producing Hufad, but people who spread the deen in its different aspects. At Marcus Tibian, it's not only about Qur'an and Qira'at, but it will also include the different sciences of the deen. These students must know what they're reciting, they must understand what they're reciting, so they can develop strong love, loyalty, and a long-term connection with the religion. Furthermore, to keep them content and comfortable, we'll have extra programs such as athletics and seminars, and pretty much that's what we envision for this program, May Allah put barakah in this markaz and make the journey easy for us. Ameen, barakallahu feek, Ahmed, jazakallahu khairan. Stay tuned, insha'Allah, for more updates and content on our social media pages. We will soon be releasing a registration link for students interested in markaz to be in. Barakallahu feekum, thanks for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.